Advocating Sam Umbakoe's Legacy, a new name for Douglas House. In the heart of a Wewe Douglas House, the government house of Imo State stands as a symbol of the region's political trajectory and accomplishments. Nonetheless, a robust case can be made for a renaming that honors a distinguished individual whose influence and legacy still resonates, Chief Sam Mbakwe. Sam Mbakwe, commonly referred to as the weeping governor, was renowned for his deep empathy for the citizens and his emotional commitment to their well-being. He served as the governor of Imo State from 1979 to 1983, and during his tenure, he transformed the state with groundbreaking leadership and visionary policies. Renaming Douglas House to Sam Mbakwe House would serve as an enduring tribute to this transformational figure and ensure that his legacy continues to guide the state's future. Sam Mbakwe's journey to leadership was marked by dedication and passion. Born in Avutu in the old eastern region of Nigeria, he started his education at St. Peter's Primary School, Umuluhu, in 1937. Mbakwe's thirst for knowledge took him to teacher's training college, Olei Isoko, in 1946 to 1947. Fura Bay College in Sierra Leone in 1952, the University of Manchester 1953 to 1956, the University of Hall 1956 to 1958, and finally the school run by the Inns of Court 1958 to 1959, all in England. This robust education helped prepare him to make substantial contributions to his home region after returning to Nigeria to practice law in Port Harcourt, Eastern Region. The territory that Mbakwe governed spanning present-day Imo State, Abio State, and the geographical area of Ebony South, Senatorial District in Ebony State, was vast and posed immense challenges. Undeterred, Mbakwe embarked on an ambitious agenda that included significant strides in infrastructural development, most notably an emphasis on road construction and on connectivity. His commitment to enhancing living standards was evident in the construction of over 300 kilometers of rural roads during his tenure, representing an annual growth rate of 8%. Moreover, Mbakwe was passionate about improving the socio-economic conditions in Imo State. His policies targeted poverty alleviation, agricultural expansion, and youth empowerment. Under his administration, cooperative societies thrived, farming equipment became more accessible, and agricultural output rose by an impressive 20%, enhancing food security and paving the way for sustainable farming practices in the state. A hallmark of Mbakwe's leadership was his transparent, inclusive, and participatory governance. He strongly believed that the people should have a say in the decisions that affected their lives, leading to regular town hall meetings to facilitate citizen participation in policy making. This approach fostered a culture of shared responsibility amongst the people of Imo State, a legacy that remains relevant in today's political landscape. Sam Mbakwe's tenure as governor left an indelible mark on Imo State. His transformative policies revolutionized numerous sectors, significantly advancing the region's infrastructure, education, healthcare, and job prospects. Under Mbakwe's leadership, the construction of key infrastructure like roads increased by 25%, schools by 40%, hospitals by 30%, and rural electrification projects saw a significant surge of 35%. Such transformative measures cemented Mbakwe's legacy as a leader committed to the betterment of his people. 
The social and economic impact of Mbakwe's initiatives were far-reaching. His dedication to education resulted in a 20% increase in literacy rates during his tenure, one of the highest in Nigeria at the time. In a groundbreaking move, Mbakwe led the establishment of Imo State University and other educational institutions, laying a solid foundation for human capital development. The strategic improvement of infrastructure attracted a significant amount of investment, with a recorded 30% increase in local business registrations and a marked improvement in the living standards of Imo State residents. With an emphasis on job creation, his administration saw the unemployment rates drop by a commendable 15%, stimulating the local economy and paving the way for socio-economic progress. Sam Mbakwe was not just known for his visionary policies. He embodied the principles of integrity, transparency and accountability. His commitment to the welfare of his constituents was unmatched, and his ethical leadership was a shining example to other politicians in Nigeria and beyond. His governance approach, marked by consistent town hall meetings and open lines of communication with the public, helped establish a politically engaged society that was involved in the decision-making process. The renaming of Douglas House to Sam Mbakwe House is a fitting tribute to this extraordinary leader. This symbolic act will not only commemorate his exceptional contributions to the state's progress, but will also serve as a constant reminder of the leadership ideals that made him an icon. By adopting the name Sam Mbakwe House, the seat of government in Imo State will inspire current and future leaders to emulate the former governor's commitment to development, integrity, and public service. The legacy of Sam Mbakwe will thus continue to guide and shape the direction of the state, ensuring that his remarkable contributions to the state's growth and progress will not be forgotten, but instead they will continue to inspire and inform the policies and actions of future administrations. The relevance of renaming Douglas House to Sam Mbakwe House extends far beyond the boundaries of Imo State. In the context of contemporary Nigeria, it has broader implications that resonate with the very essence of good governance, visionary leadership, and service-oriented politics. Sam Mbakwe's exceptional leadership and remarkable achievements are not just regional tales of success. They are narratives of nation-building, of how focused and determined leadership can lead to social, economic, and infrastructural development. They embody the potential inherent in Nigeria when leaders like Umbakwe prioritize people-centric policies and good governance. Renaming Douglas House to Sam Umbakwe House would symbolize a public affirmation of these ideals. It would represent a commitment at both the state and national level to uphold and pursue the same principles that defined Mbakwe's tenure. It will serve as a reminder that leadership should be synonymous with integrity, transparency, and the tireless pursuit of socio-economic development. Furthermore, this move will enhance the narrative of political history in Nigeria, making it richer and more representative of the country's collective journey. It will ensure that the legacy of leaders like Sam Mbakwe, who have significantly contributed to the progress and development of Nigeria, are duly recognized and celebrated. In essence, renaming Douglas House to Sam Mbakwe House is more than a tribute. It is a symbolic act that resonates with our past, present, and future. It stands as a powerful testament to our history, a celebration of our progress, and a compelling blueprint for our future. 
It epitomizes the spirit of service, integrity, and progress that will continue to inspire and guide Nigeria as we move forward in our shared journey of nation building.